Hey guys, my name is Michael Scott and I'm a photographer and a marketing director. Today I'm gonna to be doing a quick interview on my decision to get air sculpting done with Elite Body Sculpture out here in their new location in Salt Lake City. So the areas that I've decided to get treated are gonna be my stomach and my chest. Now, I mean, obviously, if I could get everything done, I probably would. <laughs> And why do I want to get this procedure done? I mean, obviously, to get a flatter stomach, to have a better looking chest, and to really boost my confidence, to feel better. I've been a photographer out here in the area for over 13 years, and I work with beautiful people every single day. And to be honest, I mean, for me, there's always been a little bit of that insecurity with the shape of my body. And I've always made jokes. I'm the first one to make a joke about how my body looks. Obviously, I would love to have just a delicious stomach, right? I would love to be able just to tie my shoes and not have to hold my breath. <laughs> For any of you that have worked with me, that have done photo shoots with me, you know that I always have a blazer on. I always have a coat on, even if it's July, regardless on if I'm sweating to death. So I would love to be able to do a photo shoot and be able just to wear a t-shirt and not be worried about man boobs like sticking out, not be paranoid about people taking behind the scenes photos or behind the scenes videos and seeing the fact that I look like the now second man that's ever been pregnant. <laughs> I love a lot of things about the ideas of air sculpting. I love the fact that it's minimally invasive. Um, I like that it has way less downtime because I am a workaholic. I love to work. I love go, go, go busy schedules. And the fact that it wipes away all your fat, takes it away, not just freezes it. I just have to go in once and it's gone. I love that. <gasps> if only so many things in life could be done in just one treatment, that would be phenomenal. So I can't wait to wear clothes that aren't baggy. I was really starting to look at options of getting bedazzled moo moos. You know, who doesn't love the idea of putting rhinestones on a potato sack and calling it avant-garde? <laughs> I really was almost thinking about that. Sometimes it is disappointing when you go shopping and you know, you see something cute and you go to put it on and you're like, oh, this could be cute. Just not on me, you know? And then you think, oh, well, I could get this for my clients. So I always feel like I had to live vicariously through my clients. So I'm very excited to think that, you know, I get to go back to being the old Michael Scott who could just be bold and wear what he wants to wear and express himself through his clothes and not always just his work. That's really meaningful to me. My weight was always an issue for me. I started gaining weight since I was younger and kids noticed and kids aren't the nicest in elementary or junior high or high school. Growing up they were pretty cruel. I was called every synonym for the word fat in the thesaurus and every adjective for chubby and it really got to me over the years. I mean more so growing up in Utah and being attracted to the same gender, being gay. It wasn't about just that, it was being <laughs> a chubby gay. I mean, how much worse can it get in Utah? To not be accepted by a big group of the culture in Utah, but then to not even be accepted by your own group because, I mean, I wasn't thin and stylish and perfect and all the things that everyone expected me to be in that realm either. I was just me. And so I became a workaholic and I focused on my work and I wanted to become a photographer and become successful and I wanted to create a space where my clients could come and be around me and to feel like you had worth and to feel like you were beautiful and that you matter and that everything about you was perfect. And I think that's where I truly fell in love with photography and what I love doing as a profession. I've done nine marathons. After high school, um, I went through some severe eating disorders where I lost 65 pounds going through bulimia and that took a toll on me. I mean, I hired dietitians and I hired nutritionists and I tried doing the gym. There comes a point of just kind of that radical acceptance and maybe that was just my mental cop out of just thinking, well, maybe I'll always stay this way. So I just wanted to focus on just being happy and healthy and just learning to love myself. And now I'm in a place to where I was just feeling comfortable with myself. 
And then I discovered that Elite Body Sculpture was opening up. That got me excited and I'm like, after going on an amazing emotional retreat and realizing how far I've come in life, now's the time to really reward myself and to really embrace who I am and to feel good. I feel like I'm ready and I've earned it. So I love that. I'm that type of person that I always wanna love myself and I feel like on the inside, I do. It's that one moment every single day that when I pass myself in the mirror before I go into the shower or the tub that I feel a little disappointed and that's a feeling I am not going to miss. With getting this air sculpting done, I am very excited to be able to eliminate that part of my day so that every single morning I can wake up excited and I can have that little boost of positivity every single morning. And I think that's gonna allow me to be a little bit happier and start my day off even more excited, be even more productive. I mean, forget Folgers being the best part of waking up. It's gonna be seeing yourself in the nude before you get in the tub. Come on, <laughs> you know? I think that is gonna be pretty exciting. <laughs> Maybe that's TMI, but that's just the Michael Scott way. So I am so excited to get this procedure done. I can't wait to see the results. And if there's a word to put on it, it's, it's grateful to give me this opportunity to change my life, to erase all the pain and the buildup all the negative memories, all the emotional eating, all the struggle. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for giving me this opportunity to have this done tomorrow and so that I can do my best to continue to try and boost the confidence of others through my craft as well. So thank you so much, Elite Body Sculpture. See you in the morning, guys, and stay tuned, everyone. Hi, everyone. We're here at our Salt Lake office. Uh, we've been open now for a couple weeks. Um, this is so exciting. We're treating Michael today, who's doing his full abdomen and male chest. We're going to take a peek and see how he's doing. Hi there. We have Michael here done. Just have a few questions for you today. Yeah, let's do it. So what areas are you targeting? So today we're targeting the full abdomen and the chest. Okay, and what made you choose air sculpt? Ooh, choosing air sculpt, I mean, when doing like all the different research and looking at all the other kind of different types of the procedures, I mean, there's all different kinds, but with being a workaholic, with loving to get back at it and be productive, I like the idea that it had less downtime. I like that you could get in and in one treatment be able to get all the stuff and more that you wanted to be able to get removed, to be removed. That it was minimally invasive, it's quick, and not to mention this place is stunning. When you come in and you're taking a tour, you're getting a consultation, and you get to meet everyone and see how like just beautiful it is, how intelligent, how talented, and then just knowing that the results are good, they're far more safe, they're far more like, like getting those good natural results, I'm like, I'm all for that, get me back to work, oh, so yes. I can get back and boost the confidence of others through my craft as well. Oh, I love that answer, Michael, so how are you feeling so far? I'm good, like, it's crazy, like who would have thought that you could come in for a procedure and have fat taken out of your body and still feel like this could feel like a spa treatment. So like, do you feel pain? <laughs> no. Like it is like, I mean maybe there's something to deserve to be, but I think this is like weirdly enjoyable. I'm so comfortable and having like a bed at home that like has the massage modes like it just reminds me of being at home and comfortable in bed and when you're surrounded by people that make you feel safe and make you feel comfortable you just feel really good so what does the actual procedure feel like 
Um, if I could describe it, if anyone out there has had, like, at the beginning stage that we did just right before this, when you're kind of getting prepped, it felt almost like dermal fillers. Mm -hmm. Like, just when you go in and kind of get your cheek fillers done, just having something injected in. And now, currently with this process, um, how would I describe what this feels like? It just kind of feels like a little wiggly magical worm just dancing inside you know do a little drop it like it's hot sucking things out doing its magic <laughs> i don't really know how to describe that but it's so how do you fun. feel about being awake um being awake actually doesn't bother me i think it allows you to really get to know the people that you're working with like i've been enjoying the time that we've had in here to where we could ask like where you've been and like how you ended up here and what brought you here and like what other you know things are you doing in life i think it just allows you to build really good connections and you start to relate to the people that you're going to be with in this kind of a you know it in more of a vulnerable situation you know to where like it's not every day you're going to come and get photos taken of you and let people draw marker marks on you and then you're just going to be like roll over, roll over and then get things sucked out of you you know, but to be able to just get to know everyone and be comfortable it's, it's been great. So what is it like to actually see the fat being removed like right before your eyes? It, I mean at least you know it's actually working, it's coming out. I mean, there's a myriad of options. I mean, I'm sure there's some interesting people out there that could be interested in turning that into one of those at-home lava lamps. You know? <laughs> I mean, look at that. Add a little bit of fun neon mixture. <laughs> you get all sorts of crazy. Would you recommend this to your family and your friends? Oh, 100%. Like, like, I think coming from, like, doing the marketing and helping out at other medical spots, like, this procedure, getting all this, like, all the fat sucked out, I think has been less painful than some of the <laughs> facial procedures I've had done. Oh, I'm so glad to hear so, that. So, that's incredible. And then Dr. Nallery, we do have some questions for you as sure. well. So how is our patient doing? He's quite comfortable. Look, he's looking like he's laying at the beach, just getting a little <laughs> tickle massage treatment. He's been very comfortable throughout. That's so good to hear. And what have you done so far? So far, we were able to treat his abdomen. We got out a lot of nice fat, as you can see in the canister. And then we treated his right chest. Now we're going to go on and treat his left chest. So how much fat have you taken out? So, so far we've gotten two and a half liters out almost. And then why do you like doing hair school, Dr. Nallery? This is a happy place. We get happy patients. We get nice immediate before and after results. People like the outcome. And I like working with nice, friendly people. The teams are great here. So a lot of reasons. All right, guys. Let's been so nice. Thank you for answering my questions. Yes, of course. And we'll see Thank you later. You. Okay, so we just saw Michael getting his full abdomen and chest done. Uh, we're gonna go in and answer some questions on our live, so feel free to ask away. Uh, we'll try to get to as many of these questions as possible. Uh, we already have a couple questions coming in, so I'm gonna get straight to it. We have, first question, um, with gynecomastia, does the gland need to be removed in uh, the male breast when doing male chest air sculpt? No, not always. So a lot of the time you're able to get a significant reduction in the chest without having to remove the gland. It just depends on the candidate and the patient. How long is recovery? Recovery is usually two weeks, we say, to kind of take it a little bit easy before you get back into any strenuous activity or exercise, but you're up, uh, you're up and moving the day after. How soon do you see results? Uh, so results, although you see an immediate change, we do ask that you be patient and wait at least six months to see your full results. What do you offer men? Men can do basically from your chin down. Um, we do all the same areas that we treat on, 
on women, except of course the male chest. Um, let's see, waiting for. When can I go back to work? Uh, most of our patients go back to work after just two to three days um, post procedure. Are results permanent? Yes, the fat is permanently removed from your body. You see it out in a canister once you're done with your procedure. Uh, when can you work out? Um, so we usually say to wait at least two weeks before you do any heavy exercise. And how soon can I travel? We have a lot of patients that actually travel in for their procedures and travel back home. We just ask that you wait 48 hours before you fly back. Can I drive home after the procedure? No, we do want um, a friend or relative to come and pick you up and take you home. We also have nursing services um, available at any location.